Hello friends, in this tutorial we will learn about SQL Executor. As you know, in Mark you have available thousands of reports. Besides of this, you also have a self-defined option by which you can generate reports according to your requirement. But one thing you will remember here, these options also have some limitations. So that's why Marg has developed a new option that is SQL Executor. Using SQL Executor, you can extract data from Marg database and can generate reports. Marg has almost vanished the foundation of reports through SQL Executor. And for this, you should have basic knowledge of SQL or you can also visit on this link. Besides of this, we have also available SQL queries document in soft copy and through that you can also generate your query. In Marg SQL Executor has some limitations. We can use only select command in Marg software. Insert, update, create, alter into commands are not allowed in Marg software. Now take an example how to use select command. Select from pro date, bill number and P rate means whatever information you want to extract from file. So simply you will enter that file name and then you can run your query to generate report. Similarly, here you can see some examples of SQL queries. For example, if you want to create a report like product name with company name. So you can run a query like this. Similarly, if you want to create a report like ledger account group address so you can apply this query so in this way these are some examples of sql queries now after this let's see how to implement sql query in mark so for that first we click on masters then mark setups then paid features and then SQL query. As you click on SQL query option, then it will open Mark SQL query window. If you want to create a new query, so for that you will click on add new button. If you want to modify existing query, so for that you will click on modify button. And if you want to delete existing query, so for that you will click on this delete button. So now we click on add new button. Then in the code field, you will enter code whatever you want. Next is name for query means here you will enter your query name. For example, we enter product list. Next is date required. If date is required, so you will choose yes. Otherwise you will choose no. Next is modify query in executor means if you want to modify query in SQL executor so you will choose yes after this in this white area you will type your SQL query and for this you should have basic knowledge of SQL for example we type command here select star from now here if you press F3 key you can see it will show the all files of mark now from here you will select that file from where you want to generate your report or you want to generate your data. For example from this list we will select pro. So in this way if you want to view the details of product file so for that you will type the command select star from pro. Now click on save button and then close the window. Now here we have created a query. To execute a query, you will choose change operator powers from the master's menu. Now here you will define that user which you want to give power to execute SQL query. Then in the search field, you will type SQL and then select yes here. Now after this, let's we log in from our ID. Now you can see in the daily reports menu. It will add a new option that is SQL Query Executor. Now select this option. And now here you can execute your query. 
So first of all, you will select your code as we select product list. And now you can see it automatically adds your query name here. And to execute a query, you will click on execute query button. As you click on execute query, then you can see it shows all the details of product file. You can see here. After this, suppose if you want to view particular details of product. So for that, you can modify this from here because you have set yes in SQL query. So now let's see how can you view particular details. For example, we want to view bill name, product, packing, MRP, rate A and then type from pro. Now click on new query button. And to execute a query, you will click on execute query button. Now you can see here it is only showing that details that you have specified. Now after this, suppose if you want to delete a particular column. So for that, you will click on this delete drop down button. And then select that column that you want to delete. Suppose from here we select sale text and click on delete button. Now click on yes. Now here you can see it has been deleted sales text column. After this you can see at the right side of the window here you will get the option export output. DBF, text, CSV, Excel, XML. That means you can export your data in these format. For example, if you want to export your data in Excel, so for that you will click on Excel button. It will open the export query output window. In file path field, you will select that path where you want to save your file. Next is file name. In this field, you can give the name to your file that you want. For example, we type product list. Next is email if you want, so you can email this data also. Now click on this save button. As you click on save button, it opens alert window, SQL query executor, beta version for testing and use. Only 10 rows allowed. One thing you will remember here, in this trial version, it will only export 10 rows, but in the license company, it works properly. Now click on OK button and now you can see your file has been exported. And if you want, so you can modify your data also. After this next is report. If you want, so you can generate your report accordingly. If you click on this report button, then you can see it opens mark cursor to report window. And now from here, you can generate your report according to your requirement. For example, we want to print serial number in first column. So for that, you will select serial number, then press enter. Now here, suppose we change column heading. Suppose we want serial number like this. Now again, press enter. As you press enter, it asks in which row you want to print serial number. For example, we select one. After this, next is alignment. Left, right, center. So for example, we select center. Next is data type means what is your data type? Is this numeric or in character? So here our data is numeric. So you will set numeric. After this, next is font. You can select font for your data then font size, width and decimal. Now after this you will select what do you want to print in second column. Suppose we select product from this list. Then press enter. Now here you can set heading according to your need. Suppose we type item name. Next you will select row number. Then alignment whatever you want then data type 
font name, font size, width and decimal. So in this way you can generate your report. After this suppose if you want to view subtotal for MRP. So for that you will click on this checkbox. Similarly if you also want to view subtotal for rate A. So for this you will click on this checkbox. In the report name field you can give the name to your report like product list. After this if you want so you can define heading also. And now click on save button. Now here you can see here you have some options. Means from here you can select in which format you want to preview or print report. For example we select GUI preview means graphical user interface. Now here you can see it is showing print preview of your report in GUI. So friends in this tutorial we have seen how to run SQL executor in Mark. Thank you.